Hey and welcome back to the channel. My name is Anika and today we are going to use the eyedropper tool to create a multicolor swatch in Adobe Fresco. So friends, if you have an iPad or a Windows device which is compatible, make sure to download it. It's a free app. Download it and follow along if you'd like and let's get started. So I am in Adobe Fresco and as you can see on my screen, I have these two color swatches that I have already made. This one is slightly easier. It's just four colors matched up together. So the thing about eyedropper tool is that you need to have the colors close together so that the eyedropper can actually pick it easily. So if I go to the eyedropper tool, I have two options. I, the first one is using just one color. So it's going to pick one color that you have. And the second option right here is a multiple color swatch. As I zoom out of the canvas, it is going to pick up more area from the eyedropper tool. So let's zoom out a little and grab the color swatch right here. We have this guy and then I'm going to my colors and go to all and recent colors and press the plus icon right here and tada, we already have a multicolor swatch. Let's go ahead and give it a try because why not? Let's go ahead and create a new layer and I am going to use the basic brushes. So if you are using the free version of the app, these brushes are there by default. So I'm going to the basic brush pack and then use the hard round brush. Fun, right? So this is using the first one and we have created this fun looking texture brush. I can also use the multicolor swatch with the live brushes. So I can use them with the watercolors or even the oil brushes. Let's go ahead and see how that looks with watercolor. I'm going to use the default watercolor wash flat and let's increase the brush size, decrease it a little. I have the flow here and decrease the water flow to 50. Let's see how that looks. I love these colors right here. And you can also increase the water flow. You have this color. Let's increase the water flow. And this is creating this beautiful multicolor water texture. I can also use these swatches with the tubular form. So let's go ahead and use. I think there is an ink brush that I really, really like in here. It's in the ink brush pack, which is also there by default. It's called the ink roller brush. Really like this. And you can use it with another one as well. So there you have it. As simple as that, you can use these colors to create something like this. You can also create patterns. You can use it with a watercolor brush and you can make it something like this. You can use it on clothes, patterns, use Adobe Capture for something like this. And if you want more information about how these brushes work, check out my other video, which is an introduction to Adobe Fresco. And before we move on, there is another one that I want to show you, which is this. It is a very 3D looking sphere and we can actually go ahead and make something like 3d typography with this one so let's go ahead and use the eyedropper to grab these colors i am going to zoom in just a little bit just so that we don't get the white and i am going to add it let's click the plus button and let's go ahead and choose the basic round brush again and go on a new layer i am going to hide these swatches that i created and let's go ahead and say hello So you can see this gives it a very 3D texture and if I take my brush from left to right, this is how it looks like and if I take it from right to left, this is how it looks like. This is because the swatch that I created initially has a light source from the top left and shadows on the right. So that's why the typography also looks like it is 3D. So if you like the content and if this was of any help to you, make sure to like and subscribe the channel and that will really support me and I will be able to provide content to you. I post content weekly. I post Adobe Illustrator and Adobe Fresco tutorials every week. So make sure to subscribe and give me a follow on Instagram and Behance where I also go live every week on Fridays at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Thank you so much for joining me and I look forward to giving you more tutorials. But until then, stay safe and stay creative, folks. Bye for now.